Hey everyone, it's Karen. Um, I was called today to make the video. Uh, it's not going to be reading. I <laughs> just felt a whole bunch of people just drop out of here. <laughs> um, it's going to be more Reiki healing. It's going to be more energy healing for um, something that's going on right now. There is a lot of trauma being healed in the collective. Um, Romeo wants to say hello as well. He's healing. Just looking at this face is healing. Um, so there's trauma energy. Whether you know that there is a trauma within this lifetime or if there's some connected to you from other lifetimes, there's trauma in the collective. There's trauma energy that is, is really coming up to be released. And uh, it's connected to major things and it's stopping movement for everyone right now. Um, it is, it's bleeding into the heart chakra. It's based in the sacral chakra. Um, a lot of it has to do with sexual trauma. And sexual trauma can be defined in many different ways. It can be, you know, a physical experience. It can be a physical attack. Um, it can be about giving your power away in a, um, whether it was taken from you or you gave the power to someone else and it affected you later where um, let's say there was some kind of um, physical interaction between you and someone else that you gave to them willingly and um, of your own consent and then something happened between the two of you that made you feel diminished when you think about that act. And when you think about those moments, even though within the moments you um, were totally present and felt the, you know, you accepted the situation and the energy within the situation and it felt comfortable. Um, sometimes there's trauma that bonds to those events, those acts, those connections, and those moments um, afterwards that have nothing to do with those moments, but the trauma from something that happens after that attaches to that. So um, it could be that you... your, your partner maybe steps out on you. Maybe they end up um, cheating on you, sleeping with somebody else. And up until that point, there was no trauma to it. And as soon as you found out about it, the trauma energy from that experience, from that, the trauma of finding out about it, attaches to every time that you have been with them since before that. And it takes your power away from you each time you think about what you gave them and the energy that you put into it and, and just the energy that you chose to give them affects what you believe about yourself and the power that you, that you hold in your sacred sexual energy and your, in your sacral center. Um, you give that a, uh, that power away by disempowering yourself in the moments that you gave to them. It doesn't negate the sacredness of who you were in those moments. Um, it feels like this message is important to this situation specifically. Um, I feel like there are some people out there that are hearing about trauma and sexual trauma and thinking that it doesn't apply to them because they have never had an experience that was um, invasive and not of their choosing or forced on them or, um, you know, they're thinking, well, that's not me. Some of the symptoms about what this trauma is causing in the collective feel f familiar. For you're like, I don't know where that would be coming from. I, you know, I was never, I was never attacked or, you know, the, the obvious trauma that we associate with the word, the term sexual trauma. Um, 
So I, I just needed to point that out, that it feels like it's something that people aren't seeing. There are things that people aren't seeing. Um, and I don't know that I would have seen it that way either without it being um, presented to me in a, um, in a situation that I encountered the other day. So they're wanting you to see a different aspect of this trauma. And they're wanting me to point out also that the sexual trauma, that energy that I'm referring to doesn't just have to do with an event. It doesn't just have to do with um, a physical event where someone, you know, um, sexually took your power away. Um, physically. It, it has to do with any time that there has been um, a dominance over your energy within your sex. So sexual harassment. Even if it doesn't appear as sexual harassment, something someone said that diminished your power because of the way that they said it or because of um, the energy that came off of it, that can be a trauma. Um, exerting their sex over your sex can be a sexual trauma. Um, it also has to do with feeling like you're being dominated. Doesn't even have to be the opposite sex. Um, anybody that's in a position of authority who uh, exerts their dominance over you in a way that shows that um, my sex is stronger than your sex, um, even just energetically. You know, I am in a position of power because I am of the male species and that is more powerful than the female species. That kind of energy can be a trauma. Anytime you feel like your power has been taken away because of something like that, it could be something very small that's coming up for you right now in your memory. Like, oh yeah, there was that one time at work when this person... And it feels to me like it is um, like a, one of you is a woman and there was another woman at work who did that same thing to you. And because it wasn't a man, you're not associating it as a, um, a sexual trauma because it didn't appear that way because, you know, she was a woman and not a man. Um, she has masculine energy. She has distorted masculine energy. That's what she's putting off. She's in a position of power and she's dominating you in a masculine way, um, energetically. Um, so recognizing that it is the energy of that sexual trauma that uh, the origin of it comes from an energy, not just from the opposite sex. So um, they're wanting you to, to pay attention to that too, that there may have been something that occurred in your life that um, you weren't, you, it's this trauma is affecting you in a certain way, but you're not recognizing that this trauma is connected to you also. Um, sexual harassment, we said that. Uh, there's something else here. There's like another situation too that um, there's there's someone that's watching right now that that has this trauma energy attached to them. It's, it's, it's connected to someone else. It's connected to a friend of yours. It's connected to witnessing someone having gone through this. Maybe it wasn't directly connected to you, um, but the witnessing of it was a trauma for you also. Um, this is coming up for you to be healed. Um, even just seeing someone in a position of power, treating someone else in this way. The energy of that is connected to you. There may be someone in your field also, someone that you're connected to that you don't realize um, had some sort of trauma or you have a suspicion, you have a hunch that someone took their power away somehow and the trauma is bonded to you too. They maybe have a trauma bond to you. Oh, this is connected to, um, somebody, 
Okay, this there's healing in this also. Oh. There's healing, self-worth healing in this. I show you, I, I did that, like you guys knew what that was, but um, this is my rose quartz. Um, there is self-healing for people that have been affected by this trauma. Uh, this trauma energy, it happened to you, and it's because your whoever it is that did that to you, it was connected to them too. They're, 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 they're wanting you to connect with um, the understanding of that, that sometimes they weren't in their body when this was happening, when they were saying these things. This trauma energy was attached to them as well, and they were acting because of this trauma energy. Um, and so they're wanting you to forgive yourself also for any way that you may have acted afterwards that feels similar to what they did. It was coming from that trauma attachment. It was attached to you too. And so forgiving yourself and understanding where it comes from is a very important part of this also. There's um, self-healing to have been to be done for the way that you reacted due to this trauma energy. So if you ended up being in a position of authority and kind of looked down on someone else in order to either you know, exert that power, also feeling like that was regaining your power, that was reclaiming your power, or um, kind of in a revenge kind of way, um, all of that energy comes from the trauma bond. So uh, there, is, there is healing energy in this Reiki for forgiveness for yourself for that. I think those are all the situations that they were wanting me to add in here. Um, if you guys... If you guys are wondering, if you guys are just needing some validation about whether this situation that you are connected to um, kind of applies, just send me a note. Leave a comment below. There's a lot of people here that are going to be supporting you, that are going to help to um, answer your questions, hold you in light, and um, really just connect with you to um, help you understand what's going on. The reason that it's important right now to address it and to recognize that, oh, maybe I have, maybe I have um, this, this sexual trauma attached to me right now, too, and it's affecting my life and it's affecting my ability to stand in my power and feel stable, too, and, and confident. And um, it's like a breakthrough that people need. It's, it's something that they're not seeing. They know that they, they're just putting in all of this work. You guys are putting in so much hard work into your healing and into, you know, being yourself and um, showing yourself and being seen and stepping in your power. Um, you, they're, they're really patting you on the back and commending you about how much work you've done. And, and don't doubt yourself because there is this breakthrough that needs to happen. There's this thing that's sitting there that I just, I can't see it. I know that it's there. Um, it's stopping me from, from really advancing forward the way that I want to. Um, and so this is kind of part of it. It's like this is the part that, that, that we're not seeing right now. So um, they're wanting to really don't abandon yourself. Don't abandon how far you've come. And don't think that it's about you and... Um, not being able to move forward is something uh, within you and your power. You don't have enough power to see it and to move forward. Um, sometimes it needs to be seen from a different perspective in order for you to... Um, it's meant to come from somebody else. It's meant to come through somebody else's filter to have an effect on you, um, to really propel you forward. There, there's definitely a reason for that, that it's coming from someone else. They wanted me to say that. Um... There's a lot of fire here. There's a lot of fire. They also want me to point out that when when you guys watch readings, when you get advice from people who are giving you advice because you're an air sign, when you're paying attention to your zodiac sign, they are super important. And um, your birth chart is very important. But it's not just important to pay attention to what your sun sign is or what and get information according to the fact that you're an air sign watching only air sign readings because you resonate with the aspect of air in your chart um it's actually 
uh, it's kind of holding you guys back just to uh, us guys, us guys. I just learned this the other day too, actually. I heard that um, because you're uh, you're only getting the information that the element of air in your chart is needing. So if you there's there's places online that you can get a free birth chart reading if you don't have it, and there's ones that will it kind of um, puts into a chart how much air you have in your chart, you know, how, how many different aspects of your chart are showing air, how many are showing fire, how many are showing water. Um, so if you look to see what you're lacking in your chart, those might be the readings that you need to be paying attention to. It might be that those are the messages that um, are really going to help to propel you forward too. They are infused with something that is going to help you in that element of your energy. So, you know, if you reside in a lot of water, a lot of emotional energy, and a lot of, um, you know, everything connected to the water element, it may be that you need to be balancing it out with more fire energy and more um, more creative energy, more self-confidence, more um, passion, more drive if you're lacking some of those things and you don't know where in your life you're, why that is, this may be the reason why. It may be that that's, um, that's the area, that's the element within your chart that you need to examine and dig into the healing of that from now on. Um, you're going to be guided to whatever element it is because it may not just be one. It, it, it may be a couple of them. Um, you need some fire. You need some earth. And you need to balance out your earth too. Um but this trauma, I feel like, is coming out because there is a lot of um, there's a lot of the collective, especially divine feminine co collective, that are needing to balance out the fire in their chart. It's that they're they're telling me just say that that it's that basic balance out the fire in your chart right now to start with. If you resonate with this, that's kind of where you need to start. Um, there's definitely earth. There's there's a lot of earth here. I see they're like, well, this person needs earth. This one needs earth. Um, start with the fire to begin with and it's going to strengthen the, the healing that comes from that is going to strengthen the collective enough to push them through this trauma um, the, the, the trauma energy that is really it's like pulsing in the collective right now and so if it's not if you're not feeling like you need to do that support just send out energetic support to the portion of the collective that is healing this, this trauma energy, um, it's going to hold them up, it's going to hold them in light, and it's going to push them through that, that, that block that they're not seeing um, and, and push that healing energy towards you to be able to step into your next part of the healing. It's like this, um, this flow back and forth, this collective flow back and forth where we hold each other up during different parts of the healing um, and we're all healing all different things all at the same time. Don't stop what you're doing. Um, but just recognize that um, we kind of take the lead for other people within our, within our community, within our support system, within, our, within the entire collective. Um, step up and just hold them in light. Because once they get through that healing, you're going to feel the effect of that also. And the release of a lot of things, the release of a trauma energy is going to be huge. Um, and it's going to flow back to you that, that it's, it's just this opening. It's like the, the doorway to the next step in what it is that you need to heal. It's almost as if this needs to happen first for all of these other people um, while you're stronger at this phase at this part of the journey. Um, there really is a message, a strong message about holding each other up and sisterhood and the support that comes from that, whether you know me or you don't know me. I just saw 1212 on my recording. And um, one of my amazing, lovely friends, I'm going to get emotional. <laughs> Um, who's been an amazing part of my support system. I just had 1212 12 come up with her the other day, and she said that it's about one and two and two becoming one. Um, and that's part of the message for this 
sisterhood, this collective. It's not just the sisterhood. It's not just feminines. It's it's holding the masculines up as well. Um, but it's the image of that flow too, the, the divine masculine energy holding the divine feminine energy and kind of the balance of the two of them. Sometimes one is stronger than the other one. And, you know, if you have more masculine in your chart, if you, or not in your chart, but it goes in with the elements as well. Um, if you carry more masculine energy, you're still a divine feminine, but your divine masculine energy within you is less distorted than some others, or you've healed more along the lines. When, when the other part of the collective is coming and healing this issue, um, you have more ability to support them because, um, you're it's like built up it's like you're you've been bulked up in this area in order to be able to help support them as well um it's it's unity it's unity consciousness not just with our divine counterparts not just with the divine feminine and divine masculine within us um it's it's within everybody else too we're not separate we're we're all going through the same things on different levels, different levels of con. Each time we step into a different level of consciousness, we're experiencing the healing and the um, energy releases and the just resonance of what people that have leveled up to that level of consciousness before us have experienced it ripples back and the healing that they have gone through and the work that they've put into it ripples back the support ripples back to you when you step into that so embrace that and and support the other ones too um it's unity it's unity consciousness so the um that one threw me for a loop. There's something else there too that they're wanting me to address, but it's not clear right now. It's something that I can't see. I'm going to I'm going to uh, I'm going to get into the Reiki part of this. Um, and if this was the only part of the message that you guys needed, um, then thank you so much for for supporting me. I can feel the support in this message. I can feel that people see that there's um, some healing that I'm doing too. And I can feel, I, seriously, I feel the support from you right now. So thank you for hearing that unity message and, and holding me in that. It's so, it's making me so emotional. So thank you for that. Um, if you are wanting to receive healing Reiki energy to this next half of the video, um, I'm going to be just sending Reiki energy. There's not going to be any music on. It's going to be completely quiet because they want it quiet. I asked ahead of time, what music do I need to have on for it? I have Reiki healing music that I, a playlist that I use. And they said, nope, it just needs to be quiet. Um, you need to clear through your mind. You need to ground down into your body and just be completely still. Don't look for answers. Don't look for clarity. Just allow the energy to be infused into your 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 body, um, into your spirit. They're telling me, like, allow this heal. Allow the healing. Allow yourself to be in your body too. A lot of the trauma that is connected to this, or a lot, yeah, a lot of the energy connected to these traumas specifically, are being exacerbated because. The trauma makes us want us to remove our body from the situation as it's happening within the event. In our minds afterwards, when we think about the event, we are wanting to leave our bodies because the trauma is too much for us to handle within it. Um, so now the healing comes from getting back into your body again, inhabiting your body taking the power back into your body, into those spaces, really go into those spaces, um, into your sacral chakra, travel into that and um, listen, just listen to what it's telling you. And listening is going to give you visions, listening is going to give you um, intuitive direction about what you're not seeing or, or how to heal it, or even just how to sit in the middle of it. How, how can I even endure this? 
your body is dying to speak to you right now. So just, just sit still and, and listen. Um, the Reiki that I do is called Holy Fire Reiki, and it's infused with the violet flame as well. So if you know nothing about that, um, you may just want to kind of do some research into it and look into the Holy Fire aspect of it. I believe that it's a, a Christ consciousness energy. It's a unity energy um, that has been presented, really. Reiki energy is life force. It's the, the, the life force, and the energy is present there. But the holy fire aspect of it feels important to recognize and to know about and to do some more research into so that you can embrace it as well. It's a really, really powerful, it's like a Holy Spirit, Christ energy that's infused in with this Reiki. So... Um, I have, I'm going to switch off of my face and I'm going to put on, um, I'm just going to have my camera on the image of this beautiful, beautiful canvas that one of my clients sent me. God, love her. Um, she channels through her art and I saw her. Her, her canvases, she, she does mandalas, she does chakra mandalas, and she channels the energy, the healing energy that you need into these canvases. You stare at them, you meditate on them, and you're going to get information about what you need to heal and how to do it. And even just looking at it, just, just looking at the, the energy coming from it is healing. Um, her name is Arena, Arena Luckman. I'm pretty sure that's how you say her last name. Um, and if you guys are wanting more information about these canvases, if you guys are wanting to order some for yourself, if you're wanting to know where in your chakras you need healing, or, or even if you're not connected to the chakras in that way that you put your focus on them like that, um, I don't even think you need to know, okay, this is my sacral chakra. This is um, orange and it's connected to it in that way. You're just going to receive the healing from it. So if you want more information about that, how to get those from her, email me uh, at the email below. It's, I'm just going to tell you, hawkjourneys at gmail.com, and I'll get you in touch with her so that um, you can get them ordered. She's amazing. And so I'm just going to turn the video onto this canvas. Um, there's healing in it for all of you as well. You can meditate. You can just stare at it. You can look at it. And then close your eyes and see the image of it and just still your mind. Just still your mind and listen to the quiet. If you hear nothing else, don't worry about it. Don't worry about getting visions. Don't worry about getting guidance and direction. It will come to you. The longer you just sit still and, you know, it may be tomorrow, it may be the next day where something is presented to you, some sort of healing situation or um, guidance or uh, a mentor is coming to you or um, even somebody just saying, hey, um, I found this crystal the other day and it reminded me of you and um, they hand it to you and it's the energy of that launches you into um, starting to heal this trauma. Whatever it is, just stay open to it and receive. Set the intention when you're looking at this next part of the video that I am willing to receive the Reiki energy. Um, it cannot come to you without um, that intention. And I'm not able to send it to you without that intention. So I am willing to accept this Reiki energy into my energetic body for the highest and greatest good, my healing and the healing of the collective. So it's just going to be a picture of the canvas. I'm going to have it on here, um, and I'm sending energy real time. So um, I'm, I'm sitting here actively sending the energy while you guys are watching it. Um, but I'm only going to do it for probably about however long they guide me. They're telling me seven minutes, so I guess it's going to be seven minutes. But if at the end of it you feel like you need more, just replay it at that part. Um, until you feel like that is enough, just go with your guidance. Um, but if you feel like you need more, um, the energy is going it, to, it's going to be sent as long as it needs to be sent. So if you need more after that, just hit replay on that area and get some more out of it. So, um, okay. I'll talk to you guys soon.